Okay, I'm making a uh, a lime chiffon pie. No idea what I'm doing. I'm experimenting. Okay, another experimental day. I'm taking a half a stick of butter. I'm going to take a half a stick of butter, cut it up into pieces, put it in a bowl, I'm going to melt it. Microwave. Then I'm going to add one package of chocolate graham crackers. That should be enough to spread on the bottom of a regular 8 inch pie pan. Is that 8 inch? Yeah, 8 inch. Butter, graham crackers, and maybe a little bit of sugar with it. I'll put a little sugar. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. A little sugar with it. How much sugar? Let's see. How much sugar do we want? Okay. Well, let me melt the butter first. Melted butter, quarter of a cup of sugar. Graham crackers chopped up, crumbled up. I'm not gonna make a mess, but hey, there we go. Crumble them up. That's why you buy the crusts that are already done instead of doing them from the, your own. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot easier buying the pre-done crust for two dollars and in a, a throwaway pan instead of doing this. All right. All right. Here we go. Dump the whole thing in here. Squish it in there. Squish it into the sides. So this, so there's the pie thing ready. Sugar. Cup of sugar. Okay. Cup of sugar. And okay. Cornstarch. Cornstarch. Three tablespoons. One, two, three. Those are heapers. So, approximately what we want to do. Okay. And then I'm going to put in here some, uh, a cup of uh, milk. Whole milk. Cup of whole milk. Cup of whole milk. Get my whisk out. And whisk that up. And I pureed a whole bunch of limes this morning. There's all my limes. Skins and all, skins and all, I pureed them. Cut them up, put them in the blender, pureed them. So you can see the green stuff and this is lime. I'm gonna take a half a cup of this lime stuff, stick it in there. Okay. And I'm sure it's not gonna be sweet enough. So let's take a uh, half a cup, a quarter of a cup more sugar. Because it's a little too limey. Okay. I think I'll add some cream cheese to this. Got some leftover cream cheese. Let's see if it's got any mold on it. Oh, it's got a little bit of mold on it, so that's going to hit the road. That's just not, this is not good. Okay, we did not use that. Okay, cannot use that. Too bad. Too bad. But, I do have some more in here. Oh, here's another one half used. Let's see what this one looks like. If this one's bad. Oh my God, that one's really bad. That one goes to the chickens. Oh, oh. 
Very, very bad. We do not use this. Holy Moses. Yeah. Gosh. Woo. Okay, let's go back in here and see what we got. We got a new one. We got a new cream cheese. We can either use cream cheese or we use eggs. Maybe you both. Maybe both. Let's use cream cheese though. Let's use a uh, let's use a half a packet of cream cheese. So this is a good packet, it's brand new. Okay. Use the whole thing or let's use the whole thing. Use the whole thing. That's from the cream cheese there. It's going to the whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing goes in there. Whole thing cream cheese. Of course it'll cook down or melt down better. Add some butter. Butter always helps. Mm. There we go. That's probably a probably a half a stick of butter. Okay, we got this thing cooking. Here we go now. As it's heating up. Um, you stir constantly to get the uh, cream cheese melted so you don't get chunks of cream cheese in there and you stir it constantly as it heats up so that the uh, milk and the butter and the cornstarch doesn't um, solidify while you have lumps. You have to get the lumps out first from the cream cheese melting. And it's going to feel, it's feel a little grainy because you know why? Because the pureed, um, it's not the cream cheese. The cream cheese is already melted now. The cream cheese is already melted. It's already melted in there. Let me see if I can get this. Here we go. The cream cheese is already melted in here. The, the graininess, which you see in there, is the pulp from the limes, which I pureed in my blender. Which I thick. A little thick. The bubble, bubble, it's bubbling. Good, good. So now when it's bubbling, you let it cook for like a, like one minute, half a minute, whatever it is, because it's all thick now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wonderful. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it, take it off the heat. Okay. There we go. Now it's off. Now what I'm gonna do is my ugly looking chocolate pie crust here. I have sour cream left here. I'm gonna take the sour cream. Take the sour cream. I'm gonna take the sour cream and put it in the uh, spatula. Spatula. Take the sour cream, put it in here. Get that on the heat. Okay. Take that out of there. Okay. Whisk it up. Whisk it up. Oh, that looks pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty darn good. All right. I have no idea what it tastes like. Let me taste it. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Hey, that tastes pretty good. Tastes different. Tastes different. Okay. So, I'm going to take this while it's still warm and throw it in my pan. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the porch, get it cool, and then I'm gonna put a piece of chocolate on the top of that lint candy bar here. And I'm taking the my little peeler here, 
and I'm coating the top of this with my pie with uh, chocolate just to make it look nice. I could put whipped cream on it, but I don't, I, I don't want whipped cream on it. So here's the pie, and I will take a picture of it, and there it is, and...